What up, everybody? It's your boy Second King up in this motherfucker, man. Just want to make a quick video, man. I don't know if y'all seen uh, this Jim Jones footage where he's in the fucking airport and he's getting jumped by two gay men, and it's kind of funny because one of the one of the <laughs> dudes that is trying to jump him, hey, he face plants this nigga right in the fucking escalator stairs like that shit was hilarious like y'all gotta go to tmz or whatever y'all get y'all information from and uh watch this video again right this is where i hate where i'm not one of these youtube niggas and i'm just a nigga on youtube to where i can't just show y'all and piece together all this shit right because this shit was fucking hilarious right especially when after he face planted the nigga the other nigga's boyfriend came and was just hitting him like you know what I'm saying? He wasn't doing no damage, right? Now, Jim Jones is 47 years old, my nigga. So I've been seeing people like, man, why is Jim Jones attacking these two old men? Uh, Jim Jones is an older man. You know, he's damn near 50. You feel me? <clears throat> but Jim Jones is very much in shape. You know what I mean? No diddy. Anyways, uh, this is not that's not the part of the video I'm talking about here. Let's get to the part of the video I'm talking about. Jim Jones, big blood, big New York, big, uh, what was that when he told niggas that they need to get DP'd or, or something like that when that 6 9 shit was going on? So you already activated in the streets. You haven't renounced no street shit. You, you haven't said, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm stepping back from that or whatever. My point is, is you still an active street nigga, right? And, you know, I'm a former street nigga, like, I, I left the streets alone six years ago, almost six years ago in September, right? But I still got, like, stuff in me that is just never gonna go away, and, and I'm and I'm gonna get to what I'm saying in a second, right? Like, there's there's just certain things that I'm just not finna do, or just, just don't sound right to me when I still hear it, even though I'm far removed from the streets, right? Immediately after they get to the bottom of the escalator and the police come right and and try to break break all the shit up jim jones is screaming out they assaulted me they assaulted me they assaulted me like is like he they ain't even fucking with jim jones at this point they backed him up he sat down he's sitting in an airport seat like like anybody else would be waiting for a flight and, and these other two gay dudes is the ones that they're focused on because they're still more riled up and rowdy, right? And Jim Jones is sitting there. He could have just said, I'm going to just sit here and, and see how this shit plays out since they ain't fucking with me. But instead, they're over here. He's over here yelling, they assaulted me. They assaulted me. Like, bro, street niggas ain't doing that kind of shit. Like, I understand it was... It was in the heat of the moment and everything, and and you worried about the police, uh, you know, arresting the wrong person or or fucking with the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? But come on, my nigga, like you supposed to be a street nigga. You what you were supposed to do is sit your ass down right there, and uh, when they ask you what happened, you could have been you could have said two things. You know what? I was assaulted. I'm I'm not sure what really happened. I just know I was defending myself against you know, an assault. That's not lightweight snitching because you're not being like, he did it, he did it. Or you could have just said, you know what, I'm not sure what happened. This camp, which which I probably would have said, I'm not sure what happened. I just felt myself being assaulted and I just, you know, whoever got it, got it. Can y'all please roll back the tape and, and you can see for yourself what happened. Or he could have just said nothing at all and let it play out, which would have delayed him, yeah, some time from whatever he was trying to do. But sitting there, when the police are not even uh, got their attention on you and yelling out, they assaulted me, they assaulted me, like as loud as he can. Like that, that wasn't gangster, my nigga. Like that wasn't gangster at all, man. But like I said, man, like, I'm a civilian now, so, you know, whatever with my opinion, but just as a former street nigga, like, that shit, that shit wasn't cool, my nigga, like, you over here snitching on two gay-ass men, you know, and I don't agree with Wack 100, I think that nigga's a clown, but he was kind of right with that shit, like, bro, you are not supposed to be over here screaming out that kind of shit, like, let the due process 
take its course. Even if it's gonna hold you up for a few minutes, it's still better than you getting caught on camera screaming out against two gay ass dudes that you just beat up. You already beat them up. They assaulted me. I'd have been like, hey man, go look at the cameras. Go look at the cameras. I don't wanna make a statement. Go look at the cameras. If I was a still an active street nigga like Jim Jones portrays to be, I'd have been like, look at the cameras. This, this place is full of a thousand cameras and you're going to see exactly what happened and then he probably would have got out of there at the same amount of time that he got out of there anyway after they was done questioning him, man. But y'all go watch that video of Jim Jones on TMZ, YouTube, whatever, and then y'all come back to this video and tell me, am I tripping or was he wrong? Was he right? What, what would y'all have done as an active street nigga? Not as a civilian, because you can, you can, you could call the police yourself as a civilian which I still wouldn't do. I would have just handled mine and, and left it at that. But, you know, I, I even, like I said, even though I'm I'm not in the streets, I don't want to deal with the police, bro. I'm not their friend. You feel me? I'm not helping them do their job. Like, I don't, I don't want to hang around no rats. I don't want to hang around no snitches. You know what I mean? So anyways, man, y'all, y'all let me know, man. Was Jim Jones wrong or was he right? It's your boy, Sappy King, man. Hit that subscribe button below so you can be the first to know and help the channel grow. And I'm still giving away $300 to a random subscriber once I reach 1,000. So, man, check out all my other shit. Share videos, like videos, comment on videos. Man, I got a whole lot more other than the current uploads that y'all see. Go to my playlist and check them out, man. It's your boy, Sappy King, and I'm out.